Oh man, so we got the boy Jack Boy. That's a rapper from Florida. He used to be cool with Kodak Black. They not cool no more. That song Super Gremlin, you guys know that song, but you don't know Jack Boy? Well, that song was about him. Now, the news came out weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that Jack Boy is arrested. He had some weird charges that seemed like it had to do with a girlfriend or something like that. But it turns out this is all related to one of his artists. So this lady came on social media to tell a story. She said that Jack Boy did some things to her. I'll let her say what she got to say. But the reason I'm covering this is he responded himself. So we're going to check these things out, man. Nigga will beat the shit out of me, spit on me, made me get in the shower, sit there butt ass nigga with a fan on a six degree house. Yes, and humane. Don't make me suck or fuck him after he beat my ass. I'm bloody and bruised, eyes damn near shut. The last time before I even go to the hospital, made me suck his Talk about some Come here and suck my after you beat the shit out me, you almost killed me with a thumbstick. Let's really talk about it. Beat the shit out, freaking. Nigga done beat the shit out, Desiree. I had the messages of Desiree just DMing me the other day when my story came out, telling me, oh yeah, that's the reason why they broke up. Because he used to beat the shit out of all his females. I was never in a relationship with Pierre Jack Boys. This man will beat my ass because he will go through my phone and get mad about shit from years and years ago. Mind you, I'm not this man who get mad because I would have to nigga get mad because I turn my back when we sleep like. I'm not what you want me to spoon you all night? Like, yeah, this is really surviving Jack Boy, because let's talk about it. Let me show y'all something. A nigga done bit me multiple times. What the fuck you talking about? I got a nigga teeth mark on my motherfucking body. Y'all think this is a joke. Look it. Teeth. Teeth. Look, they made me come live with him. Made me move. I didn't, never, I didn't even have no clothes. My clothes were still at my house in Lakeland, or where I was staying in Lakeland. So let's really talk about it. Like, come on now, be for real. Like, yeah, if we're going to get into it, let's get into it. A nigga would beat my ass. With metal broomsticks, gonna beat my with a Dior belt that's hanging in his motherfucking closet. Nigga would whip Marnie Sly, slam me, choke me to the point where I passed the fuck out. Nigga almost killed out to jump off the balcony because he threatened a pistol with me. Like, go ahead and do a lot of tech test shots because for real, for y'all, y'all really think this shit so. Like, I'm lying about this. Like, I gotta get clout from a. I ain't even got no motion. I don't have no motion. I can't go to a rolling loud. He he went to a South by Southwest to record some. Motherfucker won't even live for him. What are you talking about? We gotta go to weak ass St. Lucie to get a little crowd. Uh. Cause you're lame. Securities. That's 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 a make that's a man's biggest downfall. And it ain't even that disease down one, those down one. Real Haitian men don't put their hands on women. Like if you really, if you really a zo, really a zo poppy. And yes, y'all, I did take legal action, mo most definitely about everything. Mm -hmm. So y'all wanna be like, oh y'all coming to you coming to Instagram and Yeah, if if all that shit wasn't real, why is there a restraining order in play? Make it make sense. They don't just grant restraining orders for no reason. You gotta have at least four incidences. Like, come on now. <laughs> and they granted the same day that they got it. But at the end of the day, I'ma come out bigger than my whole situation. And I ain't even talk about this new shit. Talk about mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. Like, I'm gonna feel way bigger than what the fuck I felt like those six months and how I feel now. I feel like nothing. Like, shit mentally took a fucking toll on me. Y'all just really like laughing like, Shit funny until it happens to y'all, it happens to your daughter, it happens to your mother or somebody like Alright, so that's what she had to say, dog. Now listen to Jack Boy. To try to play the Christine role or some shit. they'll try to blue face it, like try to be the victim out here. Like, hey, you ain't no motherfucking victim. Be faking it like I'm a fan. Listen, man, I don't know what sympathy, what man. You know, you know what I be so now I be fing this shit in the front of you. I be fing this shit in the front. So I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna say, oh, nah, stay here and suck my. I try to not speak on too much because you know, you know how the law works. It's nothing. It's whatever. Like, a bitch say sin against you, you gotta prove your innocence. So it's like, I ain't gonna say nothing. But now, is twirling. It's like, bro. It's <laughs> been beefing with me since I went to Costa Rica, man. Like, stayed around me this whole time. All that's going on. So I make you. <laughs> hey, this shit is crazy, dog. <laughs> Be funny, fam. I swear to God, you don't buy a Birkin or something, and you buy another girl a Birkin. Oh, just know y'all beefing. I got messages just telling me they finna kill they self. They don't got no Birkin. Like, come on, like, what type of weird that is? Like, so before you go to the, think about it. Like, think about certain. Before at the hospital, it's about like a million police is there. I'm I, I can't beat up the police. <laughs> so 
So I catch a burglar charge the day. I catch a burglar charge on a house that I got, that I bought, that I ain't paying rent for. That's why I ain't say sir because it's like I'm finna spank it. Like how you even, oh, the day of the rent. Nah, I don't wanna pay rent. Nah, it's burglar, nah. <laughs> Shit be crazy for your boy, man. But it's like you sit back in the cut and you just observe shit, man. Like, that's what I'm on. I'm in, I'm in the cut with it. I ain't got time to back and forth, man. We on some money, motherfucker. Ain't got shit. What? Uh, it was so crazy. Then the police. Let me tell you how all this shit come about. The police. I catch a burglary charge and I go to snapping on the police. Like, how you gonna give me a burglary charge for a house I'm paying rent at? Like, you tripping. I ain't going inside no house. I ain't do nothing to no house. How am I gonna catch a burglary charge for that? So I go to snapping on the police and you know a nigga jack. So the police go to immediately hate and he go to try to give a nigga all type of wild charges. I'm like, oh, I see what's going on here. So you know what? I'm gonna fall back, lay back in the maid back, get all type of avocados for ya. And every single ex hit me up, bro. Like, I ain't gonna say the names or however. One didn't hit me up at all, like, type Called me super late, you know what I'm saying? One hit me up immediately on some ha ha, you fucking with type. One hit me up on some like, nigga, do you know who you is? Like, you too raw to be going through. And I'm like, damn, I ain't talked to this in like three years. And you say shit like that? I like, yeah, that. Like, I needed to hear that. So, the whole situation sounds crazy as hell. First of all, if all these things happen to her from this dude, if that's true, it's just wild to me. Because you usually see abusive relationships with a boyfriend and girlfriend. But with a, an, an artist and a record label owner, if you want to call it that boy, that I guess, right? That's interesting to see. It's like, okay. Obviously, she's saying that they have a sexual relations, but they aren't exclusive. They're not in a relationship. But it sounds like they cuddling in bed and stuff. It's just like, what the? It's just the dynamics is just off for me. But if the claims are true, then of course, come on now. The man is wrong for that if, it, if it's true. If it's true. But a lot of women in different comment sections was going in on her because they feel like she is electing to be a part of the situation or she stayed for a good amount of time when she didn't have to especially with the dynamics being that they weren't in a relationship so it's just a confusing story for me but y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comment section below i talked about this on that jason derulo video as well man although we don't know the truth in any of these situations just to speculate so we can avoid all this happening to any man or woman watching this video please do your best to avoid mixing business with pleasure unless you already got an established relationship with somebody and then y'all trying to you know get some bread together that's something different but if you just meeting somebody and it's a power dynamic involved as a man in particular it's very easy so easy for you to become villainized especially if things don't work out for that person that's under you it's too easy find women elsewhere because if things don't work out for that person they're gonna blame you you will be surprised with how creative they get when it comes to blaming you once again i'm just speaking to someone that's watching this video i'm not directly speaking on these two situations that i'm referring to like jack boy and jason derulo because these dudes are being hit with allegations i don't know what the court is going to find out once the legal process goes through i'm just being really clear on that all right but for you that's watching the video i'm trying to paint a picture for you to make sure that you don't end up in either one one of these positions whether the man or the female in either of these positions but other than that y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below though i'm going to get up out of here though it's your boy stacy yo